Hey friends, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Post to Post. If you're new, my name is Neil and thanks for joining me today. If you are new, listen, I collect jerseys, hockey jerseys, mostly NHL jerseys, mostly Adidas NHL jerseys. I started collecting in 2017, we'll say, say basically, you know, when the channel started or the original channel that is. And since then, I've come to collect over 110 Adidas jerseys so far and I think maybe approaching 200 jerseys total and that's mostly thanks to you guys who have sent in a lot of international jerseys so my collection is definitely unique but literally impossible without you guys so I, I thank you so much for that but let's jump back into the NHL conversation there are some quirks and kind of features about some Adidas jerseys that not everyone knows and you may even collect jerseys and have some of the jerseys that I'm going to show and maybe not know this. So I picked five things that I could kind of talk about or, you know, mention some of these little quirks. It's not going to blow your mind. It's not groundbreaking things, but there might be something in here that you don't know about. But chances are, if you're serious about collecting, then you likely know maybe all of these, but who knows? Let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about is the back of the neck. That's an odd thing to talk about in general, let alone start with, but it's important because Adidas does something kind of special, which carries over from Reebok. Reebok also used to do that in some of their jerseys, but they use this material sometimes in the back of the neck on the inner side, so underneath, in the, inside the collar here. So I'll just, I've got a bunch of jerseys here on my lap, so I apologize if you hear some clanging and some struggling coming from my end, but let's look at this section here. This is what I'm talking about. So the back of the neck, or back of the inside of the collar, um, Reebok used to do a little bit of a, a rubberized texture on some of the things that they would put on there, uh, mostly text. Adidas has kind of carried that over and done that as well, but not on all of the jerseys and not on all of the specific things in the back of the jerseys or the design. So for example, this here, this whole, this, all this pattern is not rubberized at all, okay, at all. But on the back of this jersey that I'm wearing, the reverse retro jersey, it says it's got the reverse retro logo and it's got some text. That's all rubberized, okay? So this is literally just a part of the material. It's, you know, it's sublimation print or whatever. I don't even know, I'm not an expert, but it's, it's, it's a part of the material. So I wanted to show you that. And then I wanted to show you a couple of other examples as well. So this, this beautiful, absolutely beautiful, pattern, piano pattern back here on the Nashville jersey. That is the same thing. It is, it's just on, on the material itself. It's not rubberized. This one here, same thing. We've got a bit of a design back here. All part of the material, not rubberized. And then this one here, which is the LA alternate, it's close to not being a pattern. And there are some jerseys, I don't have any in my collection, at least I don't think, but there are some jerseys that use some rubber on not just letters, on some actual like logos and stuff, kind of like the reverse retro, but other stuff. And I couldn't find any in my collection, and maybe I didn't look hard enough, but this this is a really good opportunity for that. It's just a solid color, and then you've got two things on here. So you would think that maybe these would be rubberized. They're not. They're actually just a part of the material as well. So just kind of a quirk that, uh, you know, some jerseys have their rubberized material. Mostly anything to do with text is all rubberized on there, and anything to do with pattern is not rubberized. But, uh, yeah, just a little, a little quirk that you may not be aware of that there's a bit of a material or... or not necessarily quality, but there's a bit of a difference depending on the jersey and the back of the neck. And then obviously some jerseys don't have anything back there. So there's just nothing. Oh, I had one jersey I wanted to show you. I almost forgot about it. And it really kind of bridges the gap in between the two. So it's the Chicago uh, Blackhawks Winter Classic. And it's got text on there, which is rubberized. And it's got these lines, which are rubberized as well. So even though it does have a bit of a repeating pattern, which and could be, you know, that could be literally just a part of the material very easily, just like those other ones. It's actually rubberized. These little pieces in here are rubberized. They're all, they're put on top of the material and not really a part of it, even though it's complicated. Anyway, uh, just uh, you know, a little bit of a quirk. This was kind of the outliner in the in the uh, in the collection. And I I mentioned earlier a couple minutes ago that I did look at my collection. I couldn't find it. That is true. I couldn't find it. But then at the end, I went back and I looked and I found this one. And I just totally forgot about it. I forgot to show it to you. So I had to do a little bit of a cut there in the video. And uh, yeah, so this is kind of the, the rare one in the collection. But let's now move on to the fourth thing in the list, which is this. Well, what about this? It's just a reverse retro Buffalo Sabres jersey. It's, it's not really a big deal. It was, it's nice, but you know, why are we talking about it? It's not really the jersey that we're talking about. It's actually the shoulder patch that I want to talk to you about. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a bit of fleckle. Let me take this hanger off here so I can put it up close. See that shine and sparkle in there, that bit of a fleckle? 
Well, if you're familiar with some other te- NHL teams, you probably recognize that a little bit. The Vegas Golden Knights obviously use that in their jersey, and there's different ways to represent that sparkle. There's sparkle in everything. I mean, there's not, not everything, but there's sparkle in a lot of things. But this specific material used in this shoulder patch is, it feels at least, at least it feels identical to the feel in the Vegas Golden Knights jersey. So I think this is probably rare. There are shoulder patches out there that don't use this material but look similar. But the Sabres actually went with that material. There's not a lot of it, okay? It's just a small patch. But it's the same material in the shoulder patch. So I thought that that was a really interesting little quirk in, in, in this jersey that I couldn't find any of my collection represented it anywhere else other than the Vegas jerseys, obviously. But no other team I could find. Maybe L.A. has a little bit of that. But I, I couldn't find any other team that actually used that same material anywhere else. Buffalo's the only one, so a little bit of a quirk there for you. Now, most of you are going to know this one, and I'm talking about not the Columbus Blue Jackets, but actual material used in some of the primary logos on the jerseys. So, for example, this one here, it's a bit soft. Most of you know likely about this one, but maybe you don't know all of the jerseys that use a bit of a different material. So this material here, it's almost like, uh, I'm not sure, not it doesn't feel 100% felt, but it's very soft and it's almost fuzzy in a way. So this logo uses it or this jersey uses it. Um, this one here, this Boston Bruins Winter Classic one, it is almost an exaggerated version of it. It's it's very teddy bear like. It actually like it's quite thick and it just it's very easy to feel the texture in this one. It's it, it's like a blanket. Like it literally feels like a blanket. And you might not know that from far away. You might not know that at all, but. It's very clear once you see it up in person that that is completely different material. It's quite soft. This one too, as well, these, this Toronto St. Pat's, this is actually very fuzzy and, and soft. So there's a lot of like little intricacies in some of the logos in the NHL, but very few that actually kind of use this soft, almost teddy bear felt like texture. And there are more out there that I just don't have in my collection and can't show. But if you, if you didn't collect jerseys and you just saw them on TV or maybe you saw photos of them, you might not know that. So if you are one of those people, you know, don't feel bad about it. It's not a big deal. But if you collect jerseys and if you, you know, you unbox one of these jerseys, you, you know pretty much ahead of time what you're getting. Or and if you're not, you're, then you're pleasantly surprised. But yeah, just a little quirk in some of these NHL jerseys that they use that material and some of the logos. Okay, so the next quirk I want to talk to you guys about, Montreal Canadiens. Okay, Montreal Canadiens jersey. And this has received, well, not this specific jersey, but anytime I've worn a Montreal Canadiens jersey in any video since the beginning of 2017 when I started making videos, so many people commented, why is the logo different? That's a fake jersey. Like, not the team logo, but the NHL logo. So let me hold it up close. Does that say NHL? No, it doesn't. And you want to know why? Because it's the French version of the logo. You might not have known that. The Montreal Canadiens jerseys use, at least up until the prime green. I don't have a prime green Adidas jersey. I do not know if they're using an English style NHL logo. I think they use it in Reebok, and they definitely use it in all through Adidas. Obviously, this is an Adidas jersey up until prime green. But yeah, Montreal, on their home jersey at least, uses the French logo for the NHL. And uh, it's not fake. It's real. <laughs> I don't buy fake jerseys. And not everyone knows that. That's just kind of like a little quirk, and it's unique to the NHL, so I really appreciate that. So shout out to the Montreal Canadiens. Again, not sure if you still do it on the new prime green ones, but at least I have that one with it done on there. And the final little quirk I want to talk to you guys about is about texture. We talked about texture a little bit earlier and some of those logos, but one of the jerseys that I got, and I, I unboxed, big fan of the jersey, and I opened the box, and I'm like, whoa. And, and I think I, you know, this is on camera somewhere on the channel. There's texture in the stripe of this jersey. I didn't know that. I was totally shocked. I couldn't tell or I didn't look close enough or whatever in photos or you know on ice when they were wearing it and whatnot. But it's the Carolina Hurricanes alternate jersey. And it has a texture here in the sleeve. I had no idea that it had this texture. I'm gonna hold it up close. There you have it. A little bit of almost like a wood grain texture or something. I mean, it's hard to describe. But it has, yeah, it's got, it's got that texture in the stripe. And I think that's really cool because well, I mean, the, the texture is not really that cool. It's fairly generic. It's not really a big deal. But the fact that they put it in there is cool. And the fact that I didn't know about it, like I, I should have known about it. I know, I've totally admit that I should have known about it, but I didn't. So it was a really cool surprise when I unboxed the jersey. 
And I'm sure there's lots of surprises out there like that from, from different jerseys and people buy something and then they notice something that they didn't, weren't aware about or something. So it's, it's cool. There's lots of little quirks in jerseys. I've picked five random ones that I could think of in my collection. I'm sure there's more if there are, if there are any that I don't know about maybe, or maybe you just want to let people know down below in the comments section. I'm sure lots of people read all the comments as well, not just me. So yeah, leave yours, leave your Jersey quirk down below in the comment section or you know, tweet at me on Twitter or something like that. I'm at post the post show on Twitter. Love to hear from you. What is your Jersey quirk? Maybe something I didn't cover or whatever. Let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. If you are new and you like Jersey content, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button down below as well. That helps the channel a lot. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.